I started playing the piano at the age of three, and I was really bad at it. I got so dizzy looking at black and white keyboards. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I, I heard that I could play the violin right away, almost right away, though not beautifully, and I wouldn't stop playing, so I think I liked it. When I started the violin, my parents were not, I mean, they were supportive, but they didn't know any classical music, and studying the violin in Japan cost a lot, and my parents are not like wealthy people. So they were not like so super excited about my violin studies. What I said was that please just wait until I can play the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto because I love the piece so much. And yeah, and when I got to play the concerto, it was just too late for them to make me stop. I had played on the Stradivarius for 10 years before getting this violin that was last summer. It's a Gonneri del Gesù. Um, it's from the Strad Society in Chicago. And it's as famous as Stradivarius. And it's actually more expensive, in fact. And it has a very powerful sound. And it's, it has a large, enormous sound. And so powerful that it, it's almost like the whole whole shakes with the violin. It's it's really fantastic violin. Well, I don't consider myself a success because there are a lot of places I haven't been to, and there are a lot of orchestras or conductors I haven't performed with. But certainly since 10, I've been working and working and performing. And just it's been just 20 years, it's just like that. And sometimes I considered quitting as well and doing something else. But I like, I like music and I think it's very, very fortunate that not only listening to it, but I can actually do it myself. Music is probably I can do best, so that's why I'm still playing.